How's it going everyone? We're out here yet again at this new course. It seems to be about the only one we can play anymore with all the uh, quarantine and stay at home stuff going on. So uh, what we're going to do today is someone actually commented down below that they wanted to see how good a 1060 rated player looks against average golfers. So we have, I'm like 960 rated, Nick? 985. 995? 85. 85. I was about to be really impressed. And then Zach's rating's too low to what he actually is, but he's like 930, 940. No, um, no, no, no. What is it? What is it actually? I'm unrated because I don't have a PGA number. There you go. <laughs> it was it was in the like upper 800 somehow, but uh, yeah, he's yeah, truly yeah, like a 930. So it gives yeah, well, us today's Tuesday. It gives us a good uh, good spread against Mr. 1060 here. Well, yeah, and on top of that, we're going to be looking at the some good. of the changes that Paul's making to the course out here, um, trying to make it into a little bit more of a championship or pro level course as we go along. So should be a fun video. Going to play nine holes and we'll see where we end up. We're going to start off this round on hole one. We're going to use the amateur pad here or the casual pad, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we moved the basket. You might have seen in previous videos where it is it's a little bit shorter. We've moved it back about 50 feet, a little bit up on the hill. I think it's a little bit more challenging. But mainly why that basket's there now is for the pro pad. If you kind of turn right over here, your left shoulder, you can see a pink flag back there. Pro T is about 90 to 100 longer. Um, where the basket is now, I think shapes better. But this is one I got a hole in one in, hole in one on the other day with this Missy Gannon Undertaker. But it's a little calm now, so I think I'm gonna throw a buzz. Long putt. Nick Carl, Discraft Underground, Team Foundation. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. right into the ground. <laughs> Second forehand of the day. <laughs> oh, 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 baloney. Hi. Got a jumper though. Woo! Oh. You can see the short pin right here in the bucket. Kind of cool little feature. They hide them in the bucket. But uh, long one's about 50 longer up on the hill. And I got a birdie putt here. <laughs> Careful, Nick. They don't like when we clap against Paul. <laughs> Sorry, we have seeds in our mouth sometimes, so I'll try to clear them out before the tea boxes, but I just put this in. I didn't feel like wasting it. <laughs> so, this is the second hole. The short pad is probably about 120, 150 feet in front of us. But you can actually see the basket now straight ahead. Normally it's tucked like 150 feet left. I really like this change because you can actually see it off the tee. Probably about 430 feet slightly uphill. And this rough, if you get off the fairway, is difficult. So, um, I think I'm going to be aggressive and throw a uh, Zeus here. It's a little muddy, guys. Use code NICK10 at foundationdisc.com. Right down the pipe, 300 feet. Oh, hey, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, money. Nice. It's so short, though. Holy flippy, though. Yeah, it's at five. Oh, my gosh. Use code Nick10. It worked. <laughs> I'm gonna say from now on, every shot. Is Nick 10 not the best code that you can use? <laughs> wow. Dang it. That was impressive. So Paul went no. through this gap. I called him over because it was impressive and I no. probably got some picks for it, so. Oh. 
probably should have laid mine up a little bit more. All right, we're on hole number three now. Um, it's gonna be a downhill par four. You're gonna go straight through this first gap and then it slowly just kind of bends to the right the whole time. I think it probably plays about five to 600 feet. Um, this is the first time that we're actually playing it in the new pin position. So I'm excited to see what happens. One thing I'm excited about is tee pads on this. Yeah. Which will be probably a few months, but I think that's part of the process. He designed this hole like this because he's literally done that every single <laughs> The same spot, the same disc, every time. Yeah. I got really lucky off that first shot. Six heads! Oh, I tried. Thanks. I tried. Ah, uh, barely turned it over. Oh, get on the path. Uh, or go that way. Oh, oh that works nice. too. Oh. oh, sit down. That was nice. a wonderful kick. And a little Great roll throw. too. Yeah. Oh no. I didn't want to hit my hand. No, oh, are you kidding? Oh, out in the middle though. No way. Go in. No way. Oh. oh that <laughs> wow. Downhill took that thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. See ya. My guy. All right, now we're on hole four. This is a new pad, almost a completely different hole now. The original four is kind of shorter, doesn't really have the water in play. This one has a long water carry. I think it's between 330 to 350 to carry the water. And then the basket's just about over 400, 410. Um, slightly downhill. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I think the next four holes, favorite four hole stretch on this course. Not many places where I have a, you know, a four hole stretch that I really like. So it's in my top for sure. I thought it was going in. I thought that was going to be an ace for a second. Oh, oh no. Get across. Oh. Oh, oh wow. he makes it okay. over. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Parked it yesterday. I just hit this flag. I mean, that just shows how low your forehand is. Yeah. As you do with the floor. No. Alright, that's still fine. No! What I like because it's going to have room to go even longer up the hill if you want. Hole number five. This one. Very similar feel to the last one, but I think it's gonna be a backhand play because the backhand is gonna be hyzering away from the water. There's still one more branch to cut. Um, can you see the basket from there? Yeah. So the, so the branch that's under the, the basket, that one's gonna go, the one above it's gonna stay. But 400 and I think 30, 430, 450, somewhere in there. We'll have to check. 
Check maybe with the one of those those uh, range finders. Range finders. That's it. Yeah, because we did U disc and that can be off. So we'll get a range finder to check this distance here shortly. But uh, yeah, fun part three over the water. This is the new hole six. Uh, the old tee is down the hill a little bit, probably 100 feet down that way. It was a pretty simple over the water shot. We've made it a little bit harder by elevating and pushing the tee pad further back. They're probably 10 feet tall rock right in front of the basket right there. So you kind of want to try a little bit, play a little bit about that. Where's it going? Nasty kick. Oh. Just how I drew it up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Good. Get up. Oh. No, it's hit mine. All right, fake me out. Ah! <laughs> 21, 22. Dang it, I couldn't get a line. Tick! Another tick? Yeah. Must have sweet blood. Hole number seven. This is our last hole on the front nine in the video that we're doing because we're gonna go 17, 18 after this. Um, long tee shot, long open hole. Um, you wanna get up on top of that hill. I think once we get up to our up shots, you'll be able to see the severity of the hillside. Um, and then this tee, this basket is in the same location, but I think once he puts the new pin in, it's gonna be about 60 feet further than where it will be right now. So long par four. I look forward to taking a choke on these guys. That's the good side though. Down up top, you want to be on the right side. I'm happy with that. Right behind that tree. Nice. Those are all like right in the same spot. Yeah. Good luck. Left, left, left. Get up the hill. That's right. Oh, shoot. What'd you do? Look, I tripped on this root right here. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even follow your shot because I thought you were falling. Didn't flip her. Not at all. Easy for though. God. But when you said forehand, I was like, ah, oh, I would have hit this hill right in front of me. 
So I was wrong on the tee pad. He did move the basket back the 60 feet. I'm not in a good position for that spot. For the short one, I could have usually thrown a forehand, but uh, I have to jack one up there. Did you fall again? Still faulted. Yeah, I stepped on my disc. Uh. And the last hole I got overconfident, didn't take a stroke. Now we skipped over to hole 17. We're playing the holes that have, have been changed currently. He hasn't done many in the woods um, after seven till this one. So jumping over 17, this is a new pin location off to the right. Normally it's a little fish hook to the left. This one, we got a straight gap. Um, I think the rough comes into play more if you don't hit the gap. I would guess it's about 240, 250, uh, but Fun little hole. No! Slip. Slip it. Ooh. Nice shot, Zach. Nice shot, Zach. Oh, but yeah, he almost called that. Thanks. Oh, that would have been a better run. All right, hole number 18, nine for this challenge. Um, this is actually the this is actually the 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 pro tee, not the tournament hole. It's just a par four. Tournament holes a par five. We'll kind of point out where the basket will be when we're there. But par four, down this tunnel, you can see the Jeep back there. You kind of want to just be straight, laying down that bowl down there, and then have like a 200 foot up shot from there uh, to the basket. So I'm gonna go with the buzz, keep it as straight as possible. There it goes. Oh, Skip off there. Mix. Oh, it's gonna work. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Oh! <laughs> what a shot! A better fall and a better shot. Mess up my tee pad though. Oh, what? Oh, no. I thought this was going to be wide open. I went a little too far. Yeah. I was thinking. I think I got a little eyes aligned if I can hit this first step. Oh, yeah, I could have told you that was a bad idea. Come on! There we go. Come on. I like to end my videos with the banger. So, what a jerk. That was decent. <laughs>
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks to Paul and Nick for joining us for the video. Don't forget, if you go to foundationdisc.com, use code NICK10 for a 10% off discount on that. Um, hopefully, this kind of gave you a good glimpse into A, uh, what this course is going to be like from the pro tees, and B, how much better a 1060 rated player truly is when we're just playing straight up stroke play. Um, you got anything you want to say to close out the video, Paul? It's been fun helping out with this course on kind of the design for the pro, the pro pads. It's a sweet piece of property. Um, I really enjoy the use of the water on this course and I look forward to playing it when it's done, having other people play it when it's done, and playing tournaments in the future, hopefully run by Supreme Flight or Foundation. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for, for coming out and seeing what we've done here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Sweet. Use code Nick10. <laughs> Check the links in the description below to our website, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'll put uh, Nick's Instagram in the bio as well. And we'll see you guys next time.